So we've got this thing amongst the uh, Tarantula YouTubers where you tag somebody and they have to uh, answer a bunch of questions um, on camera. Um, and I was tagged by an individual by the name of Peter Webster across the pond over in the UK. Uh, really neat guy. I'm going to drop his uh, URL down below. Uh, make sure you check him out. Um, and there is 10 questions. I'm going to go ahead and start this off. Um, what got me into tarantulas? Well, I've always loved uh, animals. Um, as a matter of fact, when I was a teenager, I had four or five aquariums in my bedroom. Um, as a matter of fact, it, it, it kind of looked like a tropical rainforest. Anyways, well... Most teenagers were out getting in trouble. I was, I was doing that. Um, I've always had, a, a, you know, a, I do like animals. I love animals, but uh, I always had a, a fascination, but yet an uneasiness with things with multiple legs. Um, and I've always wanted. Uh, a spider, but it wasn't up until um, I got out of the Air Force in early 97 when I came across a website, it's called the uh, Spider Patch, uh, ran by Darwin, who's who's no longer in business, I guess, um, who went out uh, some time ago, actually, um, and I ordered a Gramistola Poultra, and this is question two, what was my first tarantula? A Brazilian black, I think it cost me 25 bucks, a uh, mail order spider. Um, and it was, it was microscopic, it was so tiny. Uh, and so I named it Teeny. And it's the only spider I've ever named. Um, and, and within months, I was just addicted. And, and I, I got more and more and more. And you know the story. What is my favorite species? This is number three. Um, I'm, I'm going to replace species with genus. Um, and I'm going to say a Brachyphelma. Um, they're, they're big, they're bulky, they're colorful. Um, they usually have a good temperament. Uh, but yeah, those are my favorites. <clears throat> number four. What is my dream tarantula? It's, I really don't have one. I, if 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 I want something, I I generally you know wait and eventually get it. <clears throat> Number five. How many tarantulas do I have? Again, I don't know. I'm I I breed. Um, so it, it could be from anywhere from a few hundred to a few thousand at any given time. Um, I will get a count for you though pretty soon after we get our spiders moved into our new spider room um, So hopefully I can get a good count then um, Number six uh, Introduce a tarantula and I'm going to go ahead and do that now well, This little girl is a Brachyphelma Amelia um, She is a female like I just said um, probably about two years still away from breeding. Um, she is one of many of the species that I have, and I, I just love them. And she is eating, so I will not be feeding her in this video. Okay, and number seven is feed a tarantula. So let's go ahead and do that. Well, this girl is one of my uh, <clears throat> Theraposa Stearmy, or uh, Burgundy Goliath bird eaters. I don't, I don't really like that bird eater part, but uh, let's see if she'll eat. No, I know definitely she'll eat. Here we go. She's about uh, 
Well, pretty close to eight inches. She's still got a ways to go. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and give her one more. Maybe she'll come out this time. Maybe she'll come out and get my fingers. Yep, there she is. She's looking for it. get on to the next question okay what is your favorite YouTube channel man that's really hard <clears throat> there's a few that I like um, they're all so diverse and there's so many reasons I like them um, it's really hard to pick uh, pick and choose here uh, so I'm not gonna um, number nine do you have any other exotic pets um, We've got some scorpions, uh, phasmids. Uh, my five-year-old has some Australian prickly stick insects. Those are really cool. Um, maybe I'll include those at the end of this video. Um, and number 10. And this question came from uh, Peter Webster. Um, the tenth question you, you have to make up um, for the, uh, the next individual that you tag. He said something about um, if aliens were to come down and and they needed to take all of your spiders back for uh, uh, experimentation and, and learning and, and you know to study um, and you had <clears throat> you had the option to keep one um, which would it be and and I would say the Brachypelma hemori. Um, which which used to be uh, uh, Smithy. Uh, they are the classic. They they are what people see when when you say tarantula. I think, anyways. That's just, just my opinion. But uh, they're they're hardy. They're great. They're they're just the, the, the all around perfect tarantula. Uh, I I love them to death. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tag. Um, Gwentomology, and they are a uh, a father daughter channel, and they have a lot to do with exotics. Um, they do have spiders, and they have tortoises, and, and all kinds of other cool stuff. Um, they're very knowledgeable. They're very funny, and uh, and if they keep it up, they're going to go somewhere. So I'm going to add their link down below, and their question from me is if you had to choose one exotic animal to keep, and no others, just one, which would it be and why? Um, I'm also going to include another URL at the bottom for the person that came up with this tarantula tag, and that would be Tarantula Cat. And thank you very much for that. And Peter, thank you for tagging me. And uh, Gwentomology, good luck.